Hello YouTube. Right, welcome to Outweight World Series 36 in sunny, sunny Bristol. Well, I say so. <laughs> Let's view out the window though. Right, we've got quite a few new roboteers for uh, for this AWS. The first one are these two. <laughs> Ta uh, tantrum and quantum. Uh, what are they? What are they pa powered by? Um, six volts nickel mega hydride batteries. Um, orange um, spectrum DSM2 receiver. At the um, orange box under yeah. there, if you can't see. Yeah. A uh, couple of SG90 speed modified servos for the drive and a Kenji TGY90S. Is that a metal gear server? Yeah, it's basically yeah. the a metal version of the other. Okay, it's just to avoid it from stripping. And yeah. basically, the same contents is in uh, Quantum. Yep. So, this, did you say this was built when? Like this was finished last night. Yeah. <laughs> this one was like a few weeks ago, and then I just sort of finished this off last night. But yeah, they, they're pretty similar in style, I suppose. And uh, yeah. well, I hope, I hope it goes well for you. <laughs> uh, Team Belligerence robot shadow looking a bit, a bit of a shadow of, of its former self because it's got no. No fluffy bits. Yeah, it's got no fluffy bits. Yeah, no fluffy bits, no nothing. You, that's, it's a travesty, James. It should have fluffy bits on it. <laughs> Right. What else have we got? Ah, Andrew Hibbard's <laughs> bench of destruction. Quidgy bow, little bit of fail underneath it. What's this one? Anticipation. Anticipation, and that's the new anti side. He's finally put some pneumatics in the uh, chassis. Yeah, whether, whether it works or not. Whether it works. It's always a bit of a touch and go. It, um, how come, what's the uh, additional bit on the top here for? Because you can't. Yeah, it's too big. Six were too big. So do you have a platform for the top of that? I'm sure there's a 10 10 Okay, right. Well, <laughs> the Antisite's got a good record to its name. It's one like five AWS, isn't it? Yep. Well, hopefully we'll get that smug look off his face. <laughs> <laughs> Pete Waller's collection. Variant, combatant, flippant, succulent, which I hate with a passion. <laughs> and one half of his cluster bar because um, combatant is so light and defiant, which has been done with a 3D printer now. And I'm just going to, there you go, you can see that's been imprinted with a name, which is awesome. Uh, that one's the one to fear though. <laughs> Team Exterminates machines. We got the new Dynamite. What version do you call this now? Uh, it's 2011 version 2. Okay. Uh, it came second at its last event in Germany. It got beaten by DBA 2. Um, and the coke. Well, no, you managed to take. You got the, took the coconut out first, I think. Uh, fast Dalek. It's in better shape. It's got a few bends and nicks and whatever. And their uh, drive all day robot cat. Not got Kitty today, no? No, uh, Kitty wasn't very well. I think I've melted the receiver somehow. Oh dear. So cat's coming to replace the Kitty. Yeah. Over the shoulder of the team combat penguin. Yeah. This is, if it ain't broke, break it. The spit spinning ruler on the front because he hasn't <laughs> had so chance I don't have any money. He hasn't got any money to make a blade. Uh, maybe Bell. I wonder where I got the inspiration from. For all my robots. Deodorants. I wonder where I got the inspiration for that as well. Yeah. <laughs> um, one half of Black Books, which is Manny. And the other half of Black Books, which is Bernard, which is motors falling out. Oops, hold on, I can't read the name tag that way. Up. I'll move it. That's better. Yeah, Bernard Black. This is a motor power please, so it ought to be fairly nippy. No, it's and not. How do you rate your chances, Has? Um, bad to worse. It's in the none. <laughs> yeah. Right, who we got over the shoulder? Um, team Disconstructor. Indeed. Um, which is in Disconstructed Bits by the looks. This is, this is Thrust. Yeah. Yep, Thrust, new uh, sort of plough bot for that. <laughs> Have you weighed that? It's 137. Odd. How did you get all that metal in the weight? I really don't know. Uh, it's, uh, point 0.2 titanium. Oh, it's 0.2. 0.5. Or 0.5. Yeah. I'm sure it's Two would be really flimsy. Yeah, <laughs> it would. <laughs> but, uh, it's got no weapon servo, I suppose. 
those are probably why. Yeah, he's very good. Enough, he's got now. enough pushing power. Yeah. Okay, well, I look forward to seeing that. Um, you've also got antimatter. Yes. Another push bot and uh, <coughs> another push bot. Little <laughs> Dory. It's improved. I added a little scoop on the front. Right. Ha what happened to it the last time it was in competition? It got slightly destroyed. Um, yeah, uh, he used uh, acrylic mounting blocks. It was built in a week. What do you expect? <laughs> <laughs> he, he used acrylic mountain block for the polycarp oh, yeah, and, uh, polycarp now. Yeah, and Pete duly destroyed it. Which was unfortunate. <laughs> now, the team that can't count how many rollers they've got in their team, Alistair, <laughs> uh, with uh, Truant, big vertical spinner, he used to be a double spinner but not anymore, gone for the more traditional approach. Mantis, claw grabby machine, disobedient yeah. flipper, is where you see. Uh, frantic four wheel drive pusher, very well driven. In fact, generally speaking, your robot's pretty well driven. Thank okay. you. Uh, made any improvements to the last one? Um, well, Mantis has a new um, cat box mode uh, uh, servo because the last one got short circuited, I think. Yeah. Um, not sure how that happened, but still. Um, well, these things happen. And Turin's generally been uh, converted so it's easier to drive because last time it was impossible to drive. Well, it, you, I've noted you had reliability issues with the old Turin, with both with the brushless yeah. motors not yeah. turning together. It's got a bit. It's got better now. It's made into a vertical spinner. Good, good. I like the spin. I like spinners. It's good to see him didn't go away from it. Yeah. Right. <laughs> Sorry, Alistair. Team. Uh, Team Shocks, many robots. Yeah, Quake, there's a flipper, Inertia, which one's this one? That's Inertia 3. That's Inertia 3, that's Inertia 2. Slightly tilted, slightly warped by the looks of it. No metal price. <laughs> um, tes Tesla is flea one flea weight, and what's this one? Recoil. Recoil is his other flea weight. Uh, all black HDP. Are they all underweight or not? They are now. Yeah, this one had this one had a problem. There's all the bits that came off of it. Um, that came off. Uh, I've put the first 4A into outweights for it. Rob of Team Smash. This is ancient underpants. Um, ancient underwear, isn't it? Yeah. Is that, is that yeah. going to keep it? Yes. You can see an arm loose. I love that blade. That is awesome. Um, so hopefully that is going to come out of this in, in relatively one piece. So you don't think you, you don't fancy your chances, no? Uh, oh dear. Uh, that's Troublemaker. That belongs to uh, Jack and Renzo. Hi, oh, Renzo. All right. It's got like a run all day battery in it, so it's gonna. It shouldn't need to charge. It shouldn't need to charge it in the near future. <laughs> we got some spares. Okay. Who else's machines have we got? Sorry, sneaking over people's shoulders. It's a very cramped room in here. Oops. Now it's to be charged. Yes, certainly, by all means. Um, bound together by Bands of Hope. Orkin, which is on loan from Alex Kingsbury. I know how that's. I know how that's spelled, but it's pronounced fish. I'll let um, Dan explain later. And this, Craig Charles signed my robot. <laughs> because the immortal Craig Charles did indeed sign the immortal robot. You can't see that very well on this uh, thing, which is annoying. Oops, sorry, Jerry. Yeah. Uh, Jigsaw, Jigsaw 5 Mark 3, uh, built like in 24 hours, yeah. 24 hours, because it was a pile of bits. Spawn the Immortal, because yeah, it, no matter how much you batter that thing, it never breaks. Well, it does break, but it, they, put, they put back together. So Arcus, or which isn't, isn't working. Isn't working, huh? No? Why is that? Uh, the receiver's in Jigsaw. Oh, okay. And Catatonia, which I hate, because he managed to take, somehow managed to take out bulletproof. I don't know why that's so. Help me. I will do that every time the name bulletproof is mentioned. I will sing the room. You be quiet. Bye.
<laughs> you do realise this is going on YouTube when I get home. <laughs> um, what else have we got? Jarvis! Hey, you did turn up. Uh, and that's anti-gravity too, I don't This one's been the, was it the last AWS. Yeah. Oh, 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 sorry, sorry, sorry. Yeah, I, I, just picked up, I, I just picked up some carbon fiber that wasn't uh, dry. That was a bad idea. It hasn't worked here because you haven't found anywhere hot enough. Yet. You haven't found anywhere hot enough? No. Oh, right. Okay. Oh, sorry, I'm sure we can rig up a flamethrower. Just dry it off. <laughs> That's cool. I like that. Is this the one you... Have you entered this or are you just rebuilding it? Uh, still building it. Have entered it, but have to redraw it. That's a shame. Oh, well, ho hopefully we'll see it in the next one. Right. I think it's just about fight time. Well, it's going to be fight time soon, so uh, I'll save the footage. Hey, Kerry. <laughs> Kerry, oh yeah, one last one with Kerry with napalm death, which I think is awesome looking. No, I do say so myself. Yeah. Well, you, well, you did the decorating, I did the building pretty much. Yes. What does it weigh in at now? We did 125. 125? Yeah. That's all right, so, so it's gained a bit of weight since the last time. Uh, I changed the battery because of that. Ah, uh, right, like, like a bigger battery. So I put a bigger battery on. Okay, well, best of luck, Kerry. <laughs> right, okay, now, on with the fight.